So, let's take a closer look at what actually happens when we observe real, efficient runners in action and debunk this myth once and for all. Thanks to the advancements in 3D motion analysis, we're now able to delve deeper than ever before into the intricacies of human movement, especially when it comes to running. This technology provides us with a level of detail that was previously unimaginable. We can now see exactly how runners move, capturing every subtle nuance and variation in their gait. We can observe the precise angles of their joints, the timing of their muscle activation, and the forces exerted on their bodies with each stride. After thousands of tests conducted on runners of all levels and abilities, we've amassed a wealth of data that sheds light on the common patterns and individual differences in running mechanics. The verdict is clear. The conventional wisdom about running form needs a serious update. Our understanding of efficient and effective running is constantly evolving thanks to this research. Most runners' feet, contrary to what you might expect, do not move in a perfect circle during the running cycle. The motion is far more complex and nuanced than a simple circular path. Instead, the path that the foot traces through the air looks more like an eggplant, a slightly elongated asymmetrical shape that deviates significantly from a true circle, curved behind as the heel initiates contact with the ground, absorbing the initial impact forces. This curvature helps to cushion the landing and prepare the body for the next phase of the stride. Flatter in front, during the mid-stance and toe-off phases, allowing for a more efficient transfer of energy and propulsion forward. This flatter portion of the path optimizes the use of the foot's natural spring-like mechanism, landing under the body with the foot striking the ground relatively close to the runner's center of gravity. This positioning minimizes braking forces and promotes a smoother, more efficient stride. Even elite runners, those paragons of running efficiency, show this characteristic eggplant shape at moderate speeds. It's a testament to the body's natural inclination towards this movement pattern. Only at sprint speeds when the demands on the body are at their absolute peak does the footpath begin to more closely resemble a circle, reflecting the increased power and speed of the movement. And that's not particularly relevant or applicable for most of us recreational runners who are focused on endurance and overall fitness, not explosive speed. Trying to force a circular motion at normal speeds when your body is naturally inclined towards the eggplant shape is like shifting into fifth gear at 20 math. 